Amen. Let's give God a clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Nirigaluan po ako ni Brother Kuya Martin ng ano, shofar. Pinagpapraktisan ko po yung shofar. Hindi parang pipiyok-piyok lang eh. Kaya <laughs> kailangan may merong mga marunong uh, umihip. So let's just read from uh, Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 19 from the Good News Translation and it says, Watch for the new thing I am going to do. It is happening already. You can see it now. I will make a road through the wilderness and give you streams of water there. Let me repeat the first portion of the scripture. It says, watch for the new thing I am going to do. Meron pong bagong ginagawa ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Amen. And uh, as I've mentioned this morning, that this scripture is used quite often uh, during birthdays, during anniversaries, church anniversaries in particular. Or if there's any e- event in your life that seems to bring change. But I would like to say, siguro agree naman kayo, that this COVID-19 has brought a lot of change sa atin. It changed the way we live. It changed the way we think. It changed the way we pray. It changed the way we do church services. And dami pong naapektuhan. Some of it for good. Some of it for bad. Pastor Arnel shared kanina through the song, uh, I'm not backing down from any giant. Uh, for I know how the story ends. <laughs> you turn. Uh, what the enemy yeah. meant for evil. <laughs> what the enemy meant for evil. <laughs> what the enemy <laughs> meant for evil. God turned it for good. Amen. What the enemy meant. Kaya gusto ko tatlo kami kasi pagka nablaan ko yung isip ko, blaan ko rin pala isip niya. <laughs> Parehas kaming blanco. Uh, so, what, uh, what the enemy meant for, it meant for evil, para sa inyo, para sa atin, sa akin, God, God turned it around. Amen. Alam nyo, ngayon, may mga COVID here do tayo, lahat yan, puro may kulay na yung mga book na. <laughs> There's something new going on. Di ba? May bago eh. And uh, in the church, we have, at, uh, as, of, as I know, we have four COVID babies. Mga nabuntis po during the COVID. Uh, so, <laughs> may COVID hair do time, may mga COVID baby. Kami dalawa nabuntis din. Kami, kami nabuntis din po. <laughs> Pero God has been doing something great in our Amen. lives. I see the church, you have become more um, generous towards each, each other. Indeed, I'm not talking about you giving to the church uh, organization. But I'm saying that you have been more generous to each other. Uh, we've helped each other out. You know, uh, yung mga walang makain na, na nakikita ko po, people that have excess, they give. Even kahit na walang excess, nagbibigay din. You're helping each other out, helping people find jobs. If you don't have a job, you're helping people find jobs. Uh, helping people create income. Basta tulong-tulong po tayo, makakaraos tayong lahat. We, you know, we will be able to go get through this because... Aside from God with us, who can be against us? Amen. But we have each other. Amen po. Tulong-tulong Amen. Yes. Tulong po tayo, you know, as Pastor Jesse mentioned kanina, you know, message one another, you know, pray for one another. Uh, ang tawag nila ngayon, social distancing lagi. Pero, you know, I think we have been more social now than ever before. You know, the communication um, has been uh, mas uh, matibay in communication. We've been to houses that we have never been to. Yung kinakausap ko nga po sila, <laughs> yung family. <laughs> Talaga, si tatay tsaka si nanay. Si tatay tsaka si nanay. <laughs> grabe yung inakit namin, na pawis na po, yung puso namin. <laughs> Talagang grabe yung taas. You know, we've been places that we have never been before. We've talked to families, prayed for families that we've never been able to pray for before. God is bringing the church closer together. And we're reaching out to other churches. We're reaching out to other pastors. Uh, if you don't know, ma, gusto ko lamang malaman ninyo. Pastor Jesse shared a testimony that we have been paying our bills. Kami po ay kumakain pa naman. You know, uh, we are able to cover the bills of other ministries that we support. Pero not all the churches are doing well. We know of some churches that had to give up their buildings here in Olongo po City. We know of uh, some churches talaga for the past four months, they had zero income. Yung pastor uh, talaga nahirapan. And so because of your giving, because of your generosity, we are able to help people like that. 
So thank you very much. Yeah. The other day, meron po nag, nag, share, nag message sa akin. Ang sabi niya po, uh, Pastor, yung tithe namin, gusto na namin bigay. We want to give our tithe. And uh, during this, this situation, kadalasan kapag meron kayong gustong ibigay, which hindi naman namin pinopost na you give your tithes, you give your offerings, kusang loob naman lahat uh, na nagbibigay. Uh, this one family, sabi niya, if you can just drop by the house. And then sabi niya sa akin, Pastor, uh, baka meron kang kilalang ibang church or pastor na pwede namin ibigay yung portion ng tithe namin. So talaga na-touch po ko doon kasi it's not common that uh, a member would malakas ang loob na sabihin yun na, Pastor, yung tithe ko, kalahati nito o uh, portion nito ibibigay namin sa ibang church. Sa atin kasi, hindi po yan bawal eh. Tulong-tulong po tayo. We are building the kingdom of God. Amen po. Amen. So kung gusto niyo po tumulong sa ibang church, by all means, let's yes. help one another. Let's help other ministries. Let's help the church. Because when you water, you shall be watered as well. Huwag tayo matakot magbigay na tayo po mawawalan. Huwag tayo matakot. Because as we give, as this church gives to other churches, God will provide for us. And He pinak, pinak, pinakita niya na po sa atin yan, di ba? Amen po. Amen. Pinakita niya na. He is doing a new thing. Amen. He is doing a new thing. And what does the, this verse say? It says, I will make a road through the wilderness and I will, cre- uh, I will give you streams of water there. So, ibig sabihin, in the wilderness, tayong lahat, this is somewhat a wilderness. When you think about the wilderness, it's a place uh, that you are unfamiliar with. Isang lugar na kung, kung kahit saan ka lumingon, hindi mo alam ang direction. That's what the wilderness is. And right now, most of us, if not all of us, we feel that we are in a wilderness situation. Kasi you don't, hindi natin alam ang bukas eh. So we are taking one day at a time very, ano, uh, yun talaga masaya tayo sa araw-araw na meron tayo. But the Bible says that He will make a road in the wilderness. It means He will give you direction Amen. in the wilderness. Amen. Amen. When you see a road, pag sinabing road yan, Esitex, papuntang Manila, or Pampanga, you know where it's going. You know where that road will take you. When God is creating a road in the wilderness, ibig sabihin may binibigay na daan para sa atin. So there's no reason to feel that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm wondering. Naliligaw po ako. Hindi tayo dapat maligaw. He's creating a road in the wilderness. And in this wilderness, He is also providing streams of water. Ibig sabihin po, there's provision. For what God allows us to go through, God will provide. Amen. Amen. And I've seen it in your lives. Nakita ko po sa mga buhay ninyo. Nakita ko po sa mga buhay namin. Nakita ko po sa buhay ng, ng church nito. And I'm, I'm so thankful. God is good. He has never changed. Hindi po nagbago ang Panginoon. Psalm 37 verse 5. Give God the right to direct your life. And as you trust Him along the way, you will find He pulled it off perfectly. Let me repeat. Give God the right to direct your life. And as you trust Him along the way, you'll find He pulled it off perfectly. The title, incidentally, of my, uh, my message this, this afternoon is The Director's Cut. If you're familiar with that term, Director's Cut, yung Director's Cut po is the version of the movie, <clears throat> excuse me, is the version of the movie from the perspective of the director. And normally, if it's from the perspective of the director, ibig sabihin, that's the true intent of the movie. Ang problema, uh, what the, the production would do, is they would cut it and edit it in such a way that the movie would be appealing to the masses. Maging mas appealing po siya sa mga magbabayat yung mga manunood. And most of the, a lot of time, not most of the time, but a lot of times, the director's uh, perspective on the movie is not necessarily pleasing to everybody. Kasi minsan po, masyadong malaling mag-isip ang director na hindi maintindihan ng lahat. So what the production does, uh, they will edit it so that everybody will enjoy it. So, <clears throat> going back to the director's cut. Have you ever watched the director's cut version of a movie? They are generally longer. 
but more depth because it reflects the true intent of the director as opposed to the theater version. The theater release version is made to please the viewers more than to express the message of the director. According to our scripture reading today, the psalmist is instructing us to give God the right to direct our lives. Is your life a director's cut? That expresses the true intent of the director? Or is it a theater release that is more concerned with what people will say? Are we more concerned with what people will say? Or are we more concerned with God? Minsan kasi ang nangyayari po, eh, iniisip natin ang, ang tao. Iniisip natin ang pamilya. But let's think about what God would say. Is our life God's cut? Or is it a theater cut? Galatians chapter 1 and verse 10 says, Does this sound as if I am trying to win human approval? No, indeed. What I want is, <coughs> excuse me, is God's approval. I am trying to be popular with people. If I was still trying to do so, I would not be a servant of Christ. So understand this. That our lives should reflect God's intent. Tayo pong lahat ay, we have challenges in life. We're going through difficult times. <clears throat> but don't allow the difficulty to change your direction. Always be led by God's direction. Amen. Inang mahalaga. Now we have we have had to change some of the ways we think, the way we live. Even in ministry, we have changed the way we practice. That we're not changing according to just according to what the world is doing. We are being sensitive to what God is directing us to do. So mga kapatid, let me just read that scripture again. Isaiah 43 verse 19. Watch for the new thing I am going to do. It is happening already. You can see it now. Watch for the new thing. God is doing something new in your life. As a businessman, a businesswoman, God is doing something new in your life. You have to discover that. As an employee... As a worker, God is doing something new. You have to discover that. Kasi sabi dito, it's happening. It's happening already. As parents, as a father, as a, as a mother, God is, is doing something new in the family. You have to discover. Amen. In this church, God is doing something new. We had to discover and we continue to discover. In every area of your life, God is doing something new. And it's about time that we discover that new thing. Amen, Paul. Amen, amen. Yes, Pastor Jess, Pastor. Amen. amen. You know, when we experienced the uh, fire, um, April 19, uh, 2017, um, we lost everything. And uh, we entered a wilderness. Lalo na kami pastors. We didn't know what to do. We had to seek the Lord on what to do. And I remember sharing with you, we were still at the Subak at that time. I remember sharing with the congregation, in a, in a way, I'm happy, I'm glad that we are able to experience this kind of a trial. And the reason is because kami mga leaders, it gave us an opportunity to prove to you, not who we are, but to prove to you that the word that we preach, God's word, is truly True. And so nakita nyo how God led us as a church to go from the fire and lost everything within a period of four months to move into this new place. And I believe that helped you in your personal lives. I believe in a way it helped you even through this situation. Because it was proven to you that God is truly true. And that God is faithful to His Word. We entered into a wilderness. 
when the COVID stro- uh, uh, struck the world and uh, Longobo uh, City, Philippines, we as individuals, not only as a nation, not only as a city, but as individuals, we entered into a wilderness because we were not sure of what we need to do. We were not sure of how are we going to get through, how are we going to make it through this uh, wilderness. But God says, watch for the new thing. And true enough, God is doing a lot of new things in our lives. God is doing a lot of new things through our lives. And through His faithfulness, we all survived. Now sometimes, parang minsan nakakatakot eh. Uh, you know, we're human just like you. You know, after the fire, uh, when this COVID struck, uh, no, we weren't sure how long it was, was going to take. You know, just isipin yo lang, just one month without finances coming in, what's the church going to do? So we didn't know what we're going to do, yet we just continued to do what we knew God was telling us to do. Take one step at a time. Don't stop the ministry. Keep on serving God. Do what... You know, we, we, we weren't used to doing, but just keep on following God. And God will lead us in the same way God will lead you. As you take one step at a time, the director leads you one step at a time. You may not know the end results. You may not know the full picture of what's going to happen after all of this. But one thing we do know, God is faithful. Amen. 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 God is faithful. He's true to His Word. In closing, before Pastor Arnell shares, share ko lang isang testimony. And uh, is that a week ago, uh, Brother Martin, a week ago, that we gathered, fellowship tayo? Uh, a week ago, I think it was a week ago, kami, Brother Martin, Cloti, and Brother Robert, and uh, Gina. So we had uh, an early dinner, and we were talking about the Lord and sharing had a time of prayer. And uh, Sila Brother Martin and then also Sila Robert were sharing about some of their experiences. And, um, uh, you know, sometimes you try to push what you think is right, but God has a better plan. And ganun na nangyari sa, sa kanilang buhay. They were doing some things. You know, they're not sure on anong dapat gawin, but they just kept you know, taking steps, kept following God, kept praying, and uh, was going a certain direction, but yet God changed the direction. And it all turned out to good. If you look at it on that day, when God made the changes sa kanilang buhay, it looks like hindi to maganda. But after a few days after, a week maybe, or maybe sometime after, looking back, they realized no, that God is so good that if God didn't make a change in their direction, it would be bad. But it turned out for good because the director of our lives, of their lives, directed their lives and they followed him. Follow the director of your life. Amen. He will turn it all for good. Pastor Arnel. Yes, I remember a praise from a song entitled, See a Victory by Bert, uh What's that group? Uh, I see the victory by Elevation. Yeah, Elevation. Ito na po yung kanina. Yeah, ang sabi dun sa verse na ano, I'm not backing down from any giants. Amen. Yung writer ng song, sabi dun, I'm not backing down from any giants. And I, ho- I, I, I pray na ganun din po tayo that we will not back down on any giants. Maybe you have giants in front of you today. Hindi po namin alam. But all of us went some talagang challenges. And sabi din sa song, I'm not backing down on any giants. And the last, uh, in the next line is, because I know, because I know how this story ends. Amen. You know, our story, alam na alam ng Panginoong Diyos. Amen. For, speaking of director Scott, the directors know how the story or how the movie ends. Amen. So as we trust in God, alam natin that it is for our good and for His glory. Amen. So wag po tayong mag-alala, patuloy na magtiwala sa Panginoon Diyos lamang. And we sang a while ago, All my life, God, you had been faithful. God has had never stopped being faithful sa atin po. All my life, you have been so, so good. Even in the midst of pandemic or COVID-19, God has been so good. Amen. Hindi lamang po natin nakikita ang lahat. 
Amen. So let's continue to trust in God. Amen. Let's continue to uh, offer our lives. Allow the director na patuloy siyang mag-direct ng ating buhay. Amen. So yan lamang po. Amen. I think, I uh, feel that some people need prayer. Kung gusto mo mag-pray. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just feel that, you know, some people need prayer. Maybe you're here today. Maybe it's someone watching. Well, let's just take time to pray right now in the name Thank of Jesus. Lord. Bow your heads with me and close your eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord God. Lord God, I, I see eyes being opened, Lord God. I see understanding, Lord God, being opened. I see enlightenment, Lord God. And I just pray, Lord God, that you'll continue to enlighten, Lord God, your people. Enlighten, Lord God, those that are listening right now, Lord God. That truly, Lord God, that they will know, Lord God, that you are in control. And that as they put their trust in you, Lord God, Lord God, that you will turn out all things for their good and for your glory. Yes. And so we pray that, Lord God, for each one, that they, they be encouraged, Lord God, right now. Receive the encouragement. Receive the enlightenment right now. Receive the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. In the name of Jesus. Amen.